What's up guys, it's another day. Um, so I messed up the steering rack rebuild. So that's alright, I'll get another one. But I just wanted to show you guys, this is where the that solid bushing goes. Obviously it's not on load, but there's a lot of flex and I can already see it. Like, it's flexing. So I'm gonna take this off. I'll show you where it goes. Yeah, so at the end of the steering shaft, we have this rubber bushing right here, which is going to be replaced by this solid aluminum bushing. It's just going to improve steering feel. Some stretch between the steering wheel and then the actual shaft that connects to the steering rack. So, yep, we'll do that later though. I'm still trying to get the bay ready. Still trying to get the bay ready for paint. All right, it's time to paint the bay. I got everything packed and welded. Everything masked, I got the primer. And we're just gonna hit it. I'm gonna charge my battery. Oh boys, that's bright, let's go. It looks sick, I ran out of paint. But, that's the engine bay now. Uh, I'm not worried about the overspray on the subframe because we're gonna redo that whenever we get it out. Yeah, but we still need to paint up here and then do like two more coats but it's looking good it's faded down there but it's all right hyped what's up guys it's a new day um, before we start I want to show you guys all these parts I got from ISR um, I got these during Black Friday so I got a really good deal on them so this is the full gasket kit, or not gasket, but seal kit for the SR. We got intake valve seals, exhaust valve seals, all the turbo seals. Um, uh, I don't know what these other ones are. <laughs> intake collector slash intake seal. Got all these faux rings and stuff. Um, front main seal, rear main seal, uh, intake stuff, valve cover seal, I'm not going to use this one, this one's the exhaust manifold um, gasket, but it's the organic material, I want the multi-layer one, so I got that, so I got this for 60 bucks, originally 100 Something like that. I got these heater core hoses. Um, 16 bucks instead of like 32 or whatever. Uh, let's go over here. Got a OEM style water pump for like 25 bucks. I have one, but I like putting shiny new stuff on there. <laughs> I. I saw this, I don't know if I'm going to actually use it, but I got it for a dollar. Fuel filter, originally like 20 bucks, crazy. This is what I'm most excited about, this is the Sandcast outlet for the turbo. It's true 3 inch, Sandcast, it's super thick, I'd say like three millimeters thick on all sides from ISR got this for like 125 bucks originally like 250 so it's like half off had to get it it looks way bigger than I thought but we got that and then we got I ordered I had the cold side and hot side intercooler piping in my cart but as I was checking out the cold side got uh the last one got ordered um I really wanted this one because there's no blow off valve flange and it's full two inch because some of them taper down right here at the end where it connects to the turbo this is full two inch so that's good no blow off valve for the cool noises other than that that's all I got for Black Friday all of this was like 250 bucks save like three hundred dollars Alright, so last video, 
I started painting the bay, but I ran out of paint and it rained and all the stuff that I didn't get is starting to rust. So I gotta hit it with the wire wheel and finish it off. I got a big can of white and two cans of clear, so hopefully that seals everything and doesn't rust because we got rust everywhere. So I cleaned up all the rust and then I hit it really hard right on the spot welds and then went over the whole front here. So I went really liberal on the on the parts where I welded. So it actually like basically almost ran. And then I'm gonna hit it with the clear. And then hopefully, I have two cans of clear, so hopefully it won't rust anymore. And then I'll be done with the engine bay. Sick. Also, I left the back firewall right here pretty patchy because after a while I realized I'm just going to tape this up with the gold heat tape anyways. So, um, yeah, that won't even be showing. Uh, also... I haven't put the steering rack bushing in yet, so I'm just going to do that real quick before I forget. Busted the two nuts off, and then just going to pull this out. So I got these plates, this, and then the bushing with the inserts. I'm pretty sure we have to take these, yeah, these inserts come out. Take those inserts out. <laughs> Obviously, this one's rubber and it can flex under steering because this goes like this. So, this part is connected to the steering shaft, and this part is connected to your steering column to your steering wheel. So, there's a little bit of side to side play um, when you're steering this solid aluminum doesn't have any play so yeah that's gonna replace this rubber bushing so let's uh probably have to hammer these in so there's a little sliver of aluminum still here not making it sit flat so got that out Now the hard part is getting the other ones to go in flat as well. All right, here we go. So we have these two all the way in. Now I gotta seat these ones the other way like this. So let's do it. So you can see the little tiny piece of aluminum. We gotta get that out. Yeah, because if it was sitting there, it doesn't sit flat. There we go, so that's sitting flat now. One more to go. And there we go, we got our solid bushing. Now we just gotta put these um, thingies back on. This. So I have these two half cans, and then I have one more full can that I got, so let's hit that. Now we're going to go over all the welded surfaces first, and then hit it all, all around. Dang, it's white! Yeah, so we laid the clear on, looks real good. Um, I got some runs in a few spots, but it's alright, but I really don't matter. As long as it's not looking disgusting in here like I did before. It's a drift car. But kinda look nice, you know. But it looks real good now. 
Can't wait to get the motor in. Speaking of, speaking of the motor, it's right here. Got it wrapped up. Um, here, let me uncover it. So when I got it, you guys knew it, it was rusty in the um, cylinder walls. But um, I hit it with the with the honing tool real quick, like three seconds, so I can clean it up. So we have this mark right here barely anything it looks bad but it's not really anything to worry about some scoring um on all of them there's some more right there some more right there but so we're gonna bore these out 20 over um so i'm still figuring out what pistons i want I'm getting eagle rods, ACL bearings, the whole nine, um, ARP everything. Um, actually, the crank, the crank bolts, uh, Mazworks has a better design so it can have more threads, so I'm gonna get those. But other than that, have this acid cleaned, stuff like that, we'll be good. So I painted the valve cover the same color as, uh, everything else uh, and I wanted to see what it looked like oh my god it's gonna, so, it's gonna be so sick dog there's some flake in there but you can barely see it but oh, I can't wait can't wait obviously it's gonna be a little higher but oh dude it's gonna look so good in here so good all right, so after I painted the bay, I got the fuse box back in. Um, I need to buy some uh, clamp thingies so I can clamp this up here instead of using these janky little plastic clips. I dropped the subframe and we're cleaning that right now. Um, next thing I'm gonna order is the K-frame reinforcement plate things and then I'm gonna buy a bar so we can do uh, a Nismo power brace. So I got this soaking and brake clean, and um, it's cake. So I'm not even gonna scrub it. I'm just gonna pick at it with a that. Just want you guys to see how much dirt, oil, road grime has accumulated on this. Look right here. That's dirt, like from the ground. All right, it's getting darker outside. I'll continue this tomorrow, but I got. Got it pretty good now. All right, it's been a couple days since I picked up the camera, but I got the rest of the frame pretty much all cleaned up. It's ready for paint. Got these uh, brackets cleaned up as well. They don't really need paint, but oh well. I'm gonna shoot them anyways. I'm gonna do one final wipe down and then spray it. I have no idea how much that actually recorded, but got it painted. And then we'll flip it over. And then throw it back, uh, plane it, and then throw it back in here. And then we'll get these K-frame rails out too. 